Space Fall. This is Blake 7 Series 1. This is the second episode of what is my third favorite television show of all time, containing my favorite character on television of all time, which is, of course, Kerr Avon, played by the awesome and the immortal Paul Darrow. Um, and I love his character. This is his first appearance. If this was a comic book series, you'd have to get issue two because it's the first appearance of my favorite character. Um, it's also the first appearance of, uh, who else is the first appearance of? Gan, first appearance of Gan in this uh, uh, issue as well. So important, important uh, episode. Uh, they're on the prison, uh, they're going to the prison planet. Blake has to take control of the ship and get out of here, right? It's also the first appearance of the Liberator. Um, we're going to talk about this amazing, fantastic episode using my space system story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score between zero and two. Choose the best that you can get in any category. Starting with the storyline, of course, it's a two out of two. This is yet again an amazing continuation of episode one. If you have not seen episode one, you should watch Blake 7. If you haven't seen my review of episode one, you can check it out in the playlist. Um, absolutely loved episode one, 10 out of 10. Episode two, we're gonna we're we're gonna see where it ends up, but it's gonna be pretty high. Uh, the storyline is they need to take control of the ship. So the story I'm giving it two out of two because it's done in such a great way. The second Blake is on there, he assesses the situation, finds people that can help him, and he's like, "We need to get off this ship. I need to get back and fight the Federation. That's my purpose here. How are you gonna get around here? Well, we need a guy who can control the computers and hack them." And that is where Avon comes in, the second best hacker. I guess the first best was the one that caught him. <laughs> um, he's there because he tried to steal up millions of dollars of credits or millions of credits from the Federation. They nailed him. Um, I, I can't, I'll get to the character section, but uh, we got Villa who can do tricks. He's a thief, he can lockpick, that kind of thing. We have Gan who's this big, huge muscle guy. We have Jenna who's actually very smart and crafty. She's a great character maybe underrated i don't know she's also a pilot smuggler she's very important she's sort of your han solo kind of character um the plan of how to escape is great there's other people that join up to help fight so a couple one of the guys dies in the, in the attempt um the great thing about this is is that there is such interplay between blake's crew and then the the the, the guards because the one guard is a complete bastard and he's pretty smart and he's pretty evil like at one point, he's just executing people. He's like, I'm gonna execute someone every like 30 seconds until you give up. It's like, bang, five, four, three, two, one, bang. They give up and the guy still shoots another guy. Anyway, yeah, I'll shoot another guy just for the heck of it. They're complete assholes. Um, on the way there, they discover a ship, derelict ship. That's what we're gonna know as the Liberator, Blake's ship. Um, they have to board it, but there's a defense mechanism. Oh, it's so good. This is a 50 minute episode. We're gonna move on to the pacing. The pacing is two out of two. So many things happen in this 50 minutes that it, I mean, this almost, like if you would have put these two, maybe the three, maybe put the first three episodes together, you could have made this really amazing movie, um, which was like so interesting because you got your middle section where they're escaping and it's only now, we still even haven't gotten to what Blake's seven actually is, which is going to be them on the Liberator fighting the Federation. We're not even there yet. And we're already just like on the edge of our seat wondering what's gonna happen and who's gonna survive this because we saw episode one where everyone you thought was gonna survive is dead. Um, so you don't know who's gonna survive um, into, into episode three. So uh, love this episode, pacing was perfect. The artistry, I'm gonna give it a two out of two. If you haven't seen my other videos, I'm judging this based on itself. So I'm not judging this and putting it up against, you know, Star Trek Discovery or something, which is a poo show, but you know, I guess it looks okay. Uh, I'm not comparing it like that. I'm comparing it to what they can do with the budget that they have, which I think that they've done the best that they can here. The ship looks great, great interiors. I like the computer. Um, there's some nice stuff outside. The Liberator looks cool. Um, they have the part where they connect the, the docking ports. That's kind of neat. Uh, I'm going to give it a two out of two, man, because I thought it looked good. It looked good to me. A um, little bit wobbly here and there, but I don't think it's anything to be, you know, distraught about. It's not like it looked like crap to me. Um, if I was watching this as a little kid, I'd probably think it's awesome. So there you go. The characters can't, I mean, two out of two can't, can't like, I mean, Avon, every single line of dialogue that Paul Darrow gives, every single, like the way he expresses it, as absolutely brilliant the guy's the best his voice everything like the it's just like that character is the best he's my favorite character i'm shilling for it i don't care 
Um, I love Paul Darrow. He's awesome. I've watched, I've watched every interview you could possibly find on YouTube. I've, I've watched it. Um, I've got his books, all that stuff. So I love the character of Avon, but I love all the other characters too. Jenna is really presenting a strong character. This is my third time through Blake 7. And um, noticing more with her, uh, she's she's very smart and she it's like she's she wants to do good but is just not there yet. And Blake is just that inspiration to get her to be on the good side. Avon's not having it. And he's like, yeah, look, I'm just, you know, want my money and that's it. <laughs> um, I haven't had much with Ganon Villa just yet, but you know that they're gonna play a big factor later on. Um, but yeah, oh, just and Blake himself, of course, is just amazing. People immediately gravitate towards him. The guy's a natural leader. He immediately takes charge. He's like, here's what we're gonna do. I um, mean, he's also a good man because he doesn't want innocent people to die fighting his cause. Um, but it's something that he's gonna have to come to learn that just comes with the territory of fighting in this revolution. And we'll see how he deals with that in later episodes. Um, friggin' awesome. This is a damn awesome one. And the enjoyment factor, of course, is two out of two. This is a 10 out of 10 slam dunk winner. Um, there's going to be many episodes where I'm just going to tell you how great it is and you're going to have to just believe me or if you've watched Blake 7, I'm pretty sure you know I'm right. Um, love this second episode. Um, if you enjoy my space system and the way I present the information, please like the video and share the video out because Blake 7 is not out there that much. I don't even care for me. Share it out. Um, get people in on it there's a blu-ray coming out um pre-orders up so um it's gonna have the regular effects and i think it's gonna have the updated effects so you can you can watch the better you know like the better version or whatever um i'm totally fine with the normal version but i am very curious to see uh how it's gonna play with these updated effects because i actually think star trek was pretty good with the updated effects i know it's kind of blasphemous but i i uh, think it's kind of neat to see the updated effects just to see like you know what they would have done if it was more modern but Anyways, love this show. Um, don't remake it. That's it. All right, and one final shout out to my good friend Clobber in Times who passed away not too long ago. Without him, I wouldn't be watching this show. The link to his channel's in this video. Um, his channel is archived. He does a lot of great stuff, especially Star Trek. So please check out his channel. Um, and that's it. Thanks guys for watching. Until next time.